How you guys doing? So where I left off uh, since the last video, uh, I put the gantry risers onto the machine. Um, some of the things I had to do afterwards were drill some holes for the for the bearings for the bearing carriages. So um, the idea with this is like I'll be able to remove all these bolts surrounding it, and I can lift up the whole gantry, get out of the way, and then I'll get access to those bolts and yeah so ball screw is going to run on that side now none of the stuff uh, is just all kind of fitted on there just to make sure things kind of uh, fit to where they're supposed to be also I wanted to see how much space I had closing this so I have quite a Quite a lot of space, which is good. The build volume went down quite a lot, but I was expected. These, uh, yeah, they certainly got a lot of heft to them. Yeah, move it a little more. I don't even have them bolted down yet, so the, the next step I'll have to do is mark out these holes trim out and same with the back so I got six on the back there same deal so if I mark enough of them I'll be able to go and figure out the internal ones for like there's gonna be three on that side and then there's gonna be a bunch on the bottom these ones here are the old ones so they're not they're not gonna be used anymore and yeah uh, I'll have to figure what I'm gonna do for um, getting the marking out all the holes here. I don't think I'll be able to get a drill in here. So what I'll probably have to do is strip it all down and yeah, I don't know. Maybe just have the lower half on it and work on each Y axis separately and uh, get it. I'll probably three D print like all the mounting parts. So one of these motors. The good thing is the motors are they're gonna sit a lot closer now, so they're, they're not gonna go right up against There's gonna be like I think it's I think I had about a centimeter in there of space So everything's gonna fit a lot more tightly to the uh, ball screw now or, or to the y-axis um, Yeah, now I'll be able to use the full potential of this so I think uh, There's a ruler staples oh, now the heater kicks in so that's about all set and through I should get about six inches of travel on on a given end mill maybe a little bit more depends what I do for the coil board eventually um, so if I go to the um, all the way to the front limit, so you can see how much less travel I have. So I'll be able, I'll be making the spoil board a lot smaller. And unfortunately, because the offset of this top rail, I'm not going to be able to run this thing all the way to the edge. So, and I don't think it's worth like moving over. Uh, and, and futzing around with that just to get another inch of travel. Like I already, I already have enough of travel. So that's that's the uh, yeah. How much travel we have there on that side? But yeah, overall things went together pretty good. Um, this is just kind of. You know, just thrown in there. Uh, the alignment's really good. Everything fits really well. And uh, yeah, it's like, really hefty. And let's say it's rid more rigid than uh, how it was before, even without bolts. Um, yeah. So in the next video, uh, probably have this stuff painted and and uh, yeah, work from there. See you guys next time.